Okay Caleb, me and your mother will be going out for dinner by ourselves. So we are trusting you to stay home alone. And remember, don't do bad like sneaking out to other places, or you'll be grounded. Got it? Okay mom and dad. I promise to not cause trouble again and watch the whole house for you. Now that's a good boy. So, we better go now. See you later and don't do anything bad. See ya. Well, I guess since mom and dad are out, what can I do for today? I know. I'm going to steal my mom's car and then drive off to Dave and Buster's, since mom barely uses her car that much. Ha 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 But first, I gotta call my girlfriend Jennifer if she wants to come too. Well, my parents are out, I'm going to play some geometry dash cause why not? Hey, who's calling me? Hello? Hello Jennifer. It's Kayla. I was wondering if you wanna you know, go to Dave and Buster's with me. Wait, did you say, Dave and Buster's? Yes. That sounds like a great place. Of course I'll go with, you. Also, I'm going to drive my mom's car, because they are out for dinner and that mom rarely uses her car much. So you go to my house and I'll wait, okay? Okay. Sounds awesome. I'll come to your house since my parents are at work. Now, bye. God, what the heck is taking her so long? I've waited long enough. Finally. I made it here. But it took me forever to find your location. But anyways Caleb, are you ready to go to Dave and Buster's? Yes Jennifer. My mom's car is right behind us. Let's go drive it and go. Wow. I can't believe I'm actually driving my mom's car. This is so awesome. Don't you think Jennifer? I agree. Hopefully no one will notice that we stole her car. Now what do you say, we drive off to Dave and Buster's. Let's go a little faster. Guys, did you see that? That car looks like some troublemakers are driving it. I know Butterbean. Well, I hear that was Caleb's car that we saw drive by. Also, that person had a purple shirt with lavender stripes and a purple hat. Also the other person was a girl with red hair, a blue and red shirt, a green shoes and brown shoes. This could mean only one thing. Wait a holy freaking toilet drinking second. It's the troublemaker named Caleb along with his girlfriend Jennifer Robertson. They literally stole his mom's car. Are you freaking kidding me? Caleb is back at it again. And I bet they are going to Dave and Buster's. I agree Dethel. So, we need to get to my car and catch them so we can report this to the police. You're right Butterbean. We better stop them right now. Let's go guys. Okay. 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 Man, this is a really good idea that you came up with Caleb. It's been 10 minutes and even the cops haven't found out about this. Yay, which is very lucky maybe they're just lazy heads who don't know how to call the cops and drive after us. Uh oh. Caleb look at this. What? Caleb and Jennifer, pull over now. We have caught you red-handed. Oh no, it's the Bean Team. They found out that I stole my mom's car. No, they can't stop us from going to Dave and Buster's. I'm gotta push the pedal to the metal.
this is yet another serious breaking news. My name is Michael Animations 2K7. So apparently, the two troublemakers named Caleb and Jennifer have stolen Natalie's car and are speeding up. We are reported that the Bean team are going after them to stop them. And here they come, driving by us. This is a very serious crime that they are and they did. We will do our best to catch those rats somehow. The Bean team are doing what they can. Jasper, they are getting away quick. We got to catch up to them before it's too late. Well, if that's how they want to play their game, then the police will get them no matter if you like it or not. Caleb, we can't let those Bin team catch us. We better go faster. Don't worry Jennifer, we should be at Dave and Buster soon. You're only one mile left away. Well girls, thanks for inviting us to Dave and Buster's. I even get to eat my favorite food pizza. Yeah, and the best of all the boyfriends have come here too, so I can see my girlfriend Cindy. You know, this is for our summer vacation. We've got summer breaks so we can go out anywhere we like. I agree with you Miranda. Since we're named after all. I agree too. And I saw Tamitha just won the prize at the claw machine. I feel very proud of her. I want to go to Dave and Buster's every day. Oh no, let's get out, it's about to crash. Oh my god! What was that, a car crash? Well, Donald, whatever it is, but it's not too good. We must go see ourselves. Oh my! That car crashed into Dave and Buster's. I wonder what's going on. Hey Anjuli, what's going on out here? Well people, I hate to tell you all, but two people who were mentioned on the news just crashed the car into the place. Sadly they got away, so we don't know where they went. God damn it. They got away. And they crashed the car into Dave and Buster's and now it's on fire. Wait, who are you guys? Well I'm glad you asked, we are the Bean Team, I'm Butterbean, and this is Poppy, Dazzle, Jasper, and Cricket. So, the two troublemakers Caleb and Jennifer crashed the place and got away. And they literally ran away just to avoid the fact that they didn't. That's why we came here. Um, who's Caleb and Jennifer again? I heard it forgot. Well, take a look at this piece of paper. I'm pretty sure this is going to make you flip out. was terrible. I've heard about Caleb and Jennifer before. Yeah. Looks like we got two troublemakers in this world. This is getting worse. I agree Victoria. I really hope they get arrested for doing this. I know right. What about you Angelica and Adam? Yes. And I'm afraid we have to leave here because of what happened. I guess so. And it was a blast too, but they ruined our Dave and Buster's fun time. Well Jennifer, we got the car crashed into the Dave and Busters, meaning we never got inside. I know. Maybe it was because of those bin team that made us go fast and caused us to get out of here or we would die. But, hey. Look on the bright side, at least we're all alone, with you and me. And we also got away from these losers. Oh, now that I think of it, you're right. Besides, those dumb cops will never be able to find us here anytime soon. 
Um, 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 um. Hi. How's your lovely day? Don't how's your lovely day to us. We got a phone call from the Bean Team about you stealing your mum's car, drove off the Dave and Busters, and crashed into the place. This is 100% straight up illegal and you can get arrested for doing that. So you have chosen. Under arrest for those crimes you have caused. Seems like we have two troublemakers into this world. Anyway, get into the police car and don't make a fuss about it. Wow. Just freaking wow Caleb. I thought we told you to watch the house and not do bad again. But no you didn't listen to us. Instead you were Jennifer got arrested again. And, I cannot believe you stole my car and crashed it into Dave and Buster's while we were having dinner. You know that car costed like $90, and we have to pay the bills. And Jennifer, I am very angry at you and Caleb. You wasted our whole day at work and we had to leave early cause of you. What kind of monsters have you become? But mom and dad, we were like so freaking bored, so we wanted to go feel entertained. I agree. Plus, Dave and Buster's is the best arcade area place in the world. Can you please give us another chance and bail us out? No. Of course we're not bailing you out. We're not forgiving troublemakers such as you, William Johnson, Bert Edwards, Jack Steppenk and other troublemakers. And for the crimes that you committed, you are grounded until you two released from jail. And now we have to pay $350,000 for how much damage you caused. Now we are out of here. We hope you enjoy being in jail. Goodbye you stupid useless troublemakers. Man. This is not fair. I can't believe that me and Jennifer got arrested again. I know right Caleb. This is the very worst day in our lives. Oh,